It's 2.31 in the morning. How are you feeling? I must say I feel kind of emotional. Bravissimo closed tonight after 3,030 performances. We're dismantling the sets right away. In 48 hours, it should all be gone, and we'll start work on the new review. Bravissimo bows out to make way for the 25th Lido Review, entitled C'est Magique. Take a look behind the scenes as a new show is born. Before anything can happen, all the decors of the old show have to come down. The Lido management don't stop at changing decors. The whole Lido is getting a new look for C'est Magique. It's virtually being rebuilt to correspond to the new show. The transformation takes place very fast, with all the different trades working day and night. This is a big room. It has a capacity of 1,200 people. The famous waterfall features in every review of the Lido. In Bravissimo, the water flowed at a rate of about 5,000 gallons per minute until this October day in 1994. The day before that hectic night, all the costumes and decors from the old show were removed to make way for the new one. We thought maybe because the show is called Saint Magique that we should have a huge or a big top hat come up out of the stage and a beautiful girl like an enchantress comes out. Okay. Did you bring that little Here we're six months before okay, the opening of Saint Magique. Bravissimo is still sold out every night, and plans for the new review are already well underway. All the artists gather around Christian Clerico, the director of the Lido. This is a crucial meeting. It's the first chance to see what the new review is going to look like. And that at one point blinds the audience. Christian Clerico has engaged the world's top cabaret specialists, some French and some American, like the Californian Bob Turk, who will be directing this show with French director Pierre Rambert. Bob Turk is the big name in ice shows in the United States. She will appear out of that hat in a moment. Yeah, she'll come flying up. There we go. Now this is Jimmy Song. The haunting melodies that linger with us for months afterwards are written by Jim Harbour, the Lido's resident composer, assisted this time by Dan Slitter. Also part of this team of leading lights in the entertainment world are Bob Rang and Yves Valant, who are designing the sets. This is a very important meeting. Bob Turk shows Christian Clerico the four scenes for the new review. Jim Harbert plays the latest tunes, while Yves Vellant and Bob Rang present the models for the sets. Rehearsals go on while the Lido is being redecorated and the new sets are being built in huge workshops. Yves Vellant knows there's no time to lose. He's only got a few weeks left. The sets are all put together in the Lido's own workshops. The steps have got to be exactly the right height. If you make a step an inch lower, they all fall over. The skills of no less than 115 different trades are brought into play, and they all work together in perfect harmony. This is the main workshop where all the sets are made. So here you've got all the decors at once. Every trade imaginable is involved. Locksmiths, carpenters, upholsterers, electricians. We began work in April and it should all be finished at the end of October. And the top hat, which is nearly finished, is 25 times as big as the model it's based on.
This is part of the casino set. It's the back of the casino sign, and there's a mass of wires because there are hundreds and hundreds of lights. Just like the costumes, the sets must be solidly built. Just think of it, 80 dancers parading up and down the stairs twice every evening for four years. The problem with this set is putting all the spangles on the blue background. There'll be 165,000 of them and there's no other way of doing it except by hand because they must move at the slightest breath of air. Here's an unusual staircase. It's telescopic. This is a model of what it'll look like when it's folded up. Not all the steps are finished here. When it's opened up, it'll come to about here. We found a non-slip floor covering that the choreographers are happy with. It obviously had to be non-slip. Here are a couple of samples. This one's gold-plated, and this one's in brass to look like gold. But the other one's actually gold-plated. The climax of the previous review, Bravissimo, was a helicopter flying across the stage. Say Magique will have a dragon, an infernal fiberglass machine that could have been thought up by Steven Spielberg. The dragon took hundreds of hours to make because it's animated with highly complex movements. It involved building a mold which was then lined with fiberglass. The sets are now finished, and Yves Vallant can present them to the entire cast and crew. Christian Clerico and Bob Turk appreciate the quality of the work. The various parts of the decor are timed with a stopwatch because the show has to run like clockwork. The sets are animated. They change and move in seconds. In this new review, they're actually part of the choreography too. At the Lido, even when everyone's under pressure, there's always a good atmosphere.